Hey guys, Chris here with Project Nerf, and I'd like to wish everybody a very happy and safe Thanksgiving. And today we're going to take a look at the uh, newest commission that we just got in from PDK Films. So let's take a look. All right, guys, I got another uh, uh, monster box in here from. PDK Films, another commission. Let's see if we can get over here and get a piece of that label. Hopefully you can read that. Focus. This is from Paul Kowski. I blacked out his address because I didn't know if he wanted the whole world to know uh, his mailing address. Anyway, let's uh, let's get this thing open. Uh, as you can see, it was a, a huge box. And uh, this is the way Paul sends all of his stuff in here. It's uh, <laughs> And what happens to you as a modder when you can't say no to your guy. All right, I think we've got that kind of open enough to go at it here. All right. And here we go box is coming open and guys we're, we're gonna play a little game here uh i want you guys to tell me how much money is in this box now i'm gonna save you the agony of me opening it up and laying it out but uh just uh give me a minute here through the magic of editing and i'll be right with you all right so here is the packing list that he included in the box and you can see it's gonna be a real big order uh 10x full auto blue stripes 10x full auto white stripes uh then instructions what he wants done remove jam doors install the worker muzzle blah 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 and here is the parts list for just the blue 10x blue stripes 10x blue 3d muzzle adapter 10x serenity cages 10x honey badger pusher motors 20x fang revamp flywheel motors uh 20 motor spacers or the silicon uh, isolators, whatever you prefer to call them, uh, 40 extended uh, motor cage screws, uh, 10x uh, motor solder boards, 20x uh, or 10 sets of uh, containment crew inferno flywheels, 10x 3D printed switch plates, 20 Omron switches, 10 full auto kits, by the way those are XSW full auto kits, 10 extended mag releases, 10 custom triggers, 10 custom rev triggers, and 10x uh, of the thumb screws for the battery doors and that's just for the blue ones and we have an identical list on this side uh for the white ones so just to give you an eye guys an idea of what that looks like laid out which it's actually just ludicrous it takes up most of my living room all right there are the 20 blasters and so you can see we've got 10 of the battle camos and then 10 of these blue ones which these are the cq10 question mark uh stripes the uh the european edition i think um with the with the black handles and the uh the black uh lanyard mounts on them and i really really like these ones so paul wanted to do a set of those let's look over here at the table because my whole table and couch is just full of parts we'll start on the floor here uh the two packages back there are 10 a piece honey badger motors for his pushers 20 a piece or 40 fang revamps for his flywheels moving over here we got beautiful aluminum serenity cage by 20 we've got this uh custom worker front end so he can put his body kits on them we have 10 of those in white and 10 of them in blue and then moving over to the far side of the table here we have 20 custom rev triggers in black 20 custom triggers in black and these are not 3d printed they're actually uh resin or uh uh injection molded or something like that where he got them i think he told me new zealand uh but don't hold me to that uh the silicon motor isolators 40 guys two bags of 20 40 omron switches to put these things together with 20 of the motor spanning boards, 20 of the thumb screws, 20 of the switch plates from out of darts, 20 of the worker extended mag releases, 
and those are also in black. Moving over here, we have 20 sets, guys, of Containment Crew Inferno Flywheels. And over there, we have 20, count them, 20 XSW uh, injection molded uh, auto pusher cats. And so, if we just kind of back out of the way here, hopefully, we can get a little bit of an overview. That's what an order from PDK Films looks like. And uh, like I said, what happens to a modder when you just can't say no to your guy. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get one of these put together and so we can demo it for you on film here. And uh, so again, the magic of editing, we're going to cut away to that right now. All right, let's see what she's got over the chrono. You see, I've got it all finished up. So here we go. Yeah, I'm still bad for bouncing them off the inside of this ring right here. But as you can see, when we were going through straight, we were looking at uh, you know mid 130s, low 140s, right where it should be. Let's uh, let's see if we can hit anything with it. Okay, well we're gonna see if we can hit my rival target here. So let's go. Yeah, we can hit it. So let's uh, let's do a rate of fire test for you. All righty, rate of fire test. Here we go. Watch the wall. I'd say that's pretty solid. All right, guys. How about that for a build? Uh, Twenty auto strifes, and uh, with honestly just the best parts that money can buy. Paul spends an absolute fortune on these things. Again, you guys hit me. In the comment box and let me know how much money you think was in that uh, in that box that we laid everything out in the living room there uh, here is one of the completed blasters as you saw us doing the uh, firing demo we got that nice uh, upper 130s average on it fire rates about 10 darts a second nice and quiet nice and smooth and uh, should serve Paul very well for a long time to go uh, being Thanksgiving uh, I know that it's been a rough year for a lot of people out there and uh, so I, you know, including myself, we have had my own tribulations, and I've been reflecting uh, for the last while on things that I have to truly be thankful for. Uh, obviously, my business relationship and friendship with Paul is something I'm, I'm very thankful for, very grateful for, for you guys. Uh, ultimately, it's been a very solid year uh, here at Project Nerf. Uh, we've been growing, and uh, there's been some pains with that along the way, but uh, hopefully we continue that trend and uh, keep getting bigger, and we can keep delivering you guys the type of content that you want to see. Uh, so thank you. Thank you very much uh, for supporting me uh, in uh, these trying times. So guys, if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button, smash that notifications button, throw us a like, Definitely hit us in the comments. Feel free to send me an email. Our fan mail address is in the description box below. Until next time, this is Chris for Project Nerf saying have a blast.